Alrighty, I'm here to make another ride closure announcement for you guys. I can confirm that this is 99% accurate and that this information that I'm leaking today is 100% truthful. For those of you that have been paying attention, um, this attraction has been rumored to uh, be disappearing for quite some time now. Um, there were a lot of rumors around its reason for leaving, but uh, those actually don't have anything to do with it. So Wonderland has removed not a lot of attractions, especially compared to its sister park. So we are kind of, from what I'm hearing, appearing on Cedar Fair's radar in terms of removing more attractions. So with today's announcement of uh, this specific ride leaving, I can promise you over the next couple of years, there are going to be more. There are two rides, obviously, on the chopping block outside of the ride that is being announced today um but yeah for those of you that don't know uh, extreme sky flyer has operated its last day it will no longer operate at canada's wonderland um it will be getting dismantled not quite sure when it'll be getting dismantled uh, but this decision was made to make room for a future addition um from my speculation, and uh, it sits in the way on very valuable plot of land in between Front Gate and uh, the mountain area. So take that with um, however you will. But this ride uh, was rumored to be leaving at the end of 2024. Its lease expired in 2025, but Cedar Fair and the park has made the decision to actually end its lease early. So this ride will not open in the 2024 season. Um, and it is um, th this can be seen because there are kind of like those survey markings all over the ride. So actually those two back stems that come up that the ropes attach to i'm not going to know the proper terminology this is 5 a.m by the way if you can't tell by my voice but they are marked with survey markings that lead all the way to front gate and start all the way over by um the mountain area where the rumored bnm wing coaster launch coaster is supposed to be going so that's definitely really interesting. Um, you can start to obviously form opinions as to why this ride is leaving, whether it be for front gate construction or for the wing coaster or just for something in World Expo. Um, it definitely comes down to a multitude of things, labor being one of them. It takes a lot of um, very experienced and a lot of training hour people to operate that ride so that's definitely part of it as well on top of that uh, i would look to flight deck and time warp being on the chopping block over the next couple of years these two rides have had some of the lowest ridership numbers in history this season especially flight deck with its operations being two trains time warp having really low numbers um, in terms of that as well. So ridership is significantly down for Flight Deck and Time Warp. Um, and especially Flight Deck um, having some of those TSSA um, reports they have to do almost on the daily with earrings and head bumps and all that. I could totally see them removing this sometime over the next couple of years. Why keep it? Or you see them invest in new trains. Whatever they decide to do, these two rides um, are definitely not going to be staying. But I will give my opinion, it, with a ride with such low ridership, a new train isn't going to draw in new ridership. So for those of you that are hoping for new trains and the ride staying, I'm promising you this ride is on the chopping block. Flight Deck and Time Warp's numbers do not align with other rides of similar age. For example, Mindbuster pulls more than double the ridership of Flight Deck. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video. Stay tuned for more information on ride removals and Extreme Skyflyer as I learn more. Thanks for watching today's video. Comment down below your thoughts on this ride removal and were you expecting it this early? Have a good one, guys. Bye.